Hello everyone, this is Asika from the IoTProjects.com. Today's tutorial is on an IoT based thermistor remote controller using Duin DC041C11W04 display. Here we have a sample DC041C11W04. The first letter T means IoT production line code, C means capacitive touch panel, 041 means 4.1 inch display size. C means commercial grade. 1 means a resolution of a 4 inch display that is 480 by 480 pixels. Another one means hardware version with weight nodes relay control. W means Wi Fi as a communication method. Lastly, 04 means control output node supported by this controller. It has a built in speaker, temperature sensor, and ESP8266 Wi Fi model for IoT applications. Here, you can see this thermistor controller has 11 pins on its back panel. Pin 1B and pin 2E are for RS485- and RS485 plus interface. Pin 3, and C is not a defined pin. Pin 4 is normally open AC output. Pin 5 is normally closed AC output. Pin 6, 7 and 8 are low, medium and high AC output pins respectively. Pin 9 is a neutral negative power input pin. Pin 10 is ANC not defined pin. Finally, pin 11 is phase positive power input pin. The working voltage of this controller is 220 volt AC. This video is sponsored by PCBWay.com. PCBWay.com is a one-step solution for all your PCB needs like PCB prototyping, assembly stencils, PCB assembly etc. Currently, they are offering 10 pieces of 2-layer PCB at just $5. PCBWay provides high quality material TG150 to 160 but keeps the same price with TG130 to 140. They also have a free sign up bonus for new users. So get your first prototype PCB ready from PCBWay.com. The link is in the description below. Just click on the PCB Instant Quick tab then click on Quick Order PCB. Now upload your Garber file, select your preferred shipping method and place your order. Now, let's quickly disassemble its part to see the hardware parts of this LCD. Here, we can see a small temperature sensor, ESP8266 Wi-Fi module, ESD card slot, a small speaker, T5L0 ASIC ASIC interface, LCM interface, and RS485 interface. Now, let's power this LCD with a 220V AC power supply. You can also use this type of USB to RS485 module to connect this thermistor controller with your PC. This is the factory demo of this controller which is in Chinese. You can see here every these expect numbers are displayed in the Chinese language. So I have reviewed this firmware in the English version. So everyone can easily use this controller. All the necessary tools and firmware files will be provided in the description. Now, let's quickly copy this Duin on your set folder to your SD card. But make sure that your SD card is formatted in the FET32 file system. Now, insert the SD card into the SD card slot of this LCD. Provide the power supply to download the firmware to your LCD. If you are new to this and want to know more about how to build and design your own UI for Duin Display, then watch our detailed video on getting started with Duin Display and Giga software. Now, let's connect this IoT thermal state controller with our Wi-Fi network. For that, click on settings. Then, click on wireless settings. Then, click on the Wi-Fi setting. Now, click on configure Wi-Fi. Here, you need to enter your Wi-Fi name in the network name and password in the network password field of your Wi-Fi. Now, click on the click to connect button. As soon as Wi-Fi gets connected, you can see the connection status here. On the home screen, you can see the Wi-Fi icon displayed on the notification panel area. Download and configure Duin Cloud application. To download and configure the Duin Cloud application on your smartphone, go to Settings. Click on Wireless Settings. Then click on the Nitro QR code. Open any QR code scanner app on your smartphone, then scan the QR code to download the Duin Cloud app file. Now, install the download APK file on your smartphone. 
from here you can select your language. Here I am choosing English. You can quickly sign up with your Gmail account and then sign in to get into the Duin Cloud dashboard. Here you need to add your device to this Duin Cloud dashboard. Click on the plus icon in the upper left corner then select the scan code option. Then scan your device QR code to add your device. Now you can see the device listed on your screen. Just click on the device name to control your settings. You can click on the plus icon to increase the temperature to resolve value. Similarly, click on the minus icon to decrease the value. You can also adjust these values from LCD by clicking on the setup icon. Select your cold, hot and wind mode from the application as well as from the LCD screen by tapping on modes. Then it allows you to set the wind speed according to your needs from the cloud app as well as the Duin LCD display. You can configure your own timing settings, time interval settings, etc. You can make this smart controller system to run automatically based on user settings. Here you can get the same settings on your display as well. You can change screen saver images from this setting. The best part of this cloud platform is you can send messages to your device and control its setting remotely from anywhere in the world. As soon as you send the message, you can see your message icon in the notification area. Just click on it to see your message received. You can also save the time by clicking on the top right corner. You can change the screen brightness from its setting. This screen has a brightness of 250 nits, which is also quite impressive. In additional settings, you can see the alarm setting where you can choose different tones as well. Here you can see the screen saver settings. You can choose three different modes, temperature, photo and clock. You can start the screen saver after one minute of an ideal screen or five minutes. If you made some mistakes on your setting, you can restore setting to your factory default from here. The device connected to the Duin Cloud is also connected to the Smart Voice Assistant platform, which can quickly realize smart voice control. So, this is an intelligent temperature control system. You can click on this close button on a smartphone to close the LCD display, and again click on open to turn on the LCD. So, that's all for today. Just subscribe and hit the like button so you don't miss any future content like this. It's me, Asika, signing off for today. Catch you soon. Bye-bye.